Would you kindly watch this review? I'm pretty sure you will enjoy it. I would first like to thank SmoothAce19 for sending me this game request and uh, I hope if you're watching this I hope you enjoy it. Bioshock is a first person shooter although many people have debated of whether you could really call it that because its story is so unique and its choice system is actually kind of effective to the player but I don't know just to keep things simple I call it a first person shooter. Now. I actually wasn't originally going to buy this many years ago because it first came out on the Xbox and I didn't trust anything that came out on the Xbox, but uh, I'm glad to say this was one heck of a game. So here's my review, Bioshock. The story of Bioshock is quite unique and in my opinion, original. He plays an unknown character who finds himself going home and after a short period of time, your plane is about to go down. As you crash, you swim to a lighthouse in the middle of nowhere. You get into an elevator, and you find yourself in the wonder, wonder city of Rapture. Now, Rapture was created by Andrew Ryan to give people from the surface a chance to live life the way they want. However, as you find out immediately, something has gone terribly wrong in Rapture, and you'll find that the city is infested with splicers, big daddies, and all kinds of terrible things that are out to kill you. Now along your journey you'll run into little girls called little sisters in which you'll be forced to answer a question that will ultimately jub your morality. Will you, will you kill the innocent to save yourself or are you willing to risk everything in order to give them the freedom that they never had a chance to have? Now the gameplay to Bioshock is in its simplest forms can be classified as like a first person shooter. Throughout Rapture you will collect a number of unique and simple weapons like a simple pistol or a double barreled shotgun or as you can see here a wrench. And all of these weapons can be customized any way you want. What makes Bioshock really unique is the addition of really cool like powers which can be classified and known as plasmids. The plasmids, by the game's own definition, allow you to temporarily change the DNA structure in your left arm, which in simplest form gives you unique powers. Like the ability to electrocute things, set things on fire, or my personal favorite, it allows you to send a horde of bees to annoy your enemy while you walk up and blow their damn heads off as you see now. Now, one of the unique things about the Bioshock game in general is the, mor the morale judgment. Whenever you take down a Big Daddy, you have a choice of either to save or harvest the little sister for your own needs. Depending on your actions, it will decide what ending you will get. I personally never have never harvested a little sister I don't even know what it looks like, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to know what it looks like. Ouch, that had to hurt. Hate to be that guy. Now, as great as Bioshock is, there were a number of flaws I had with it. I didn't like at all how my character doesn't see a damn thing. I mean, I understand that for a good portion of the game he's being controlled without him knowing it, but why should that mean that he can't talk? I want it to feel like a character, not a robot. This is the very problem that I've had with multiple games, especially all but one of the Call of Duty games. I'm not sure if this is the type of storytelling in which I'm supposed to be the character, but the fact that you see what your character looks like kind of takes you out of the moment. Finally, this is really a small gripe and it really will not hurt the score for me, but I felt that there weren't enough enemies in each area. Every time I entered a room, I would only be facing one or two, or at the most, three enemies at one time. 
If they had increased the number greatly, it would have given me a sense that I'm really trapped in an underground city and need to get out anywhere I can. That sort of, you know, hysteria that you get when you're trapped underwater. And that was my review of Bioshock. Sorry that this review isn't a little bit more descriptive or better going into the details of the story and the elements of the gameplay and the different plasmids you could get, but heck, this game's been out for four years, so chances are you've beaten it and you know what happens in the game. You know how it all ends and you know how great the endings are. Overall, I would give Bioshock a solid 9 out of 10. Not a perfect game, but a must own for anyone who's a fan of shooters, or if you're like me, a fan of great stories. Now, would you kindly join me in my next review when we head right back to Rapture in Bioshock 2. If you like this vid, would you kindly like, comment down below, and subscribe up top. And like always, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Yeah.